Hello, Spark fans. Welcome back to Advancing Spark. But also, welcome to non-Spark fans. Welcome to people who would like to be a Spark fan or have just found out there's a big project kicking off and they're going to have to be a Spark fan. Well, today is the day for all of you because we are finally, finally making the Advancing Analytics Academy a public live course. Now, I've been traveling around delivering training to whole groups of people and private companies and public sessions for years now. And there's a whole two-day Spark Fundamentals course that I've delivered many, many, many times. And we've been asked countless times, could we turn that into a self-paced online, watch whenever you want training course? And yes, it just took a bit of time. So I'm very happy to say that is now live on the interwebs and you can go and sign up. And I'll essentially the video today is just taking you through what it looks like, what's in that first course, how you get started with it. And of course, how you get a discount on it for being a Spark fan. Well, one, there's a discount code. We'll have a look at the course itself. We'll talk through how you use it. We'll talk through how you get started. But for anyone who is a fan of the YouTube, you can use the coupon code SPARKFANS to get 10% off any of the courses. So let's get that out of the way. Don't forget that. Uh, and I'll poke that back up towards the end. So yeah, as always, if you're new around here, then don't forget to like and subscribe and watch all of our other videos about the new features and weird and wonderful implementation bits of Spark. But if you've never used Spark before, and you want to know how you write Spark code, how you even get started, how you read data, how you transform data, how you write data, well, then you need a training course to get first up to speed, and that is what today is about. So let's have a look at the new course. Let's see what's going on. So first things first, there is a whole landing page. There's a school you can sign up to, tells you a bit about AA, a bit about how he uses some testimonials and things as we get it. And then you can see there's one course live at the moment. Now, the price of that will depend on your local tax. So whether you're in the UK, US or wherever in the world you are, you'll pay relevant tax on top of whatever the course actually costs. And you'll start to see lots and lots of other courses pop up here. So there's currently only a single course live. Now, that is our Spark Fundamentals course. And I'm going to walk through what's in there, what it looks like, how the course works and all of that stuff in just a second. But we have lots of other courses that we normally deliver. I've got a ton of training content for teaching people after they've been through Spark Fundamentals, how to be a data engineer, how to do framework building and automation, how to do ML ops and use ML flow and start get started as a data scientist using Spark. Uh, how to use other tools. So we do a full three day Synapse bootcamp teaching you the world about Azure Synapse Analytics. We do Terraform training and get people up to speed with true infrastructure as code and DevOps. There is a big old Delta masterclass course I deliver, which is just the in-depth view of how you do the more advanced things using Delta. And then other things, just streaming and auto loader and just ah, so many things. But currently there is just the Spark Fundamentals Live to kind of see how this works, see if you guys actually like it, to test out the training platform. And also that's all I've had time to do so far. So will we we will be putting things out in the future such as course bundles and access bundles and buy this and buy this and you get a discount all that kind of stuff but for now currently it is only this fundamentals course that is live when you sign up you do get access for 12 months so that means if there's any updates we make to the course any new additions any new features any new labs and things we add in you'll also get access to that within the first 12 months but if you need access to other courses then that is a separate thing so if you sign up, if you use this Spark Fundamentals course, what do you get out of it? Well, let's have a look at this thing. So we can see there's a whole load of welcoming into the course. Uh, everything is a video course with various different extra bits you get in. So, for example, we talk through how you use the demos and labs. You'll see there's a bit of a blurb explaining what's going on. You'll see there's the files. So you can download a DBC file. We're using Databricks Community Edition as the back end for a lot of the Spark training just to make it accessible and mean you can use a lot of data sets. And there's a whole video explaining how you import the labs, how you get all the demos, how you get all the course content to go and work on. And it's lots of different areas that we go through. So we get you set up right at the start. We then talk through the history of big data and the lake house and why people are moving to lake houses. What was wrong with relational databases? Why you should be challenging the traditional assumptions of how we build some stuff. So in each of our modules, we've got various different sections, various different lectures, telling you about a bit of that history and guiding you through that process. And then each module ends with a bit of a quiz to test your knowledge and see how well you did in that particular section. 
And then we then talk about more Spark itself. So how does Spark work? How do you use Spark? What are the, some of the terminology? What's the architecture? How do you talk about a Spark job? Now, we choose to do that right at the start. And there's lots of Spark courses that they, they teach you a load of code first and you don't question it. You just type in what they say and just go, yay, that worked. And you don't really know why. We try and do it the other way around. We tell you this is what you're going to see and why you're going to see it. And then from the very start, when you're running things, you're not seeing lots of jargon that you don't understand. You're not seeing lots of messages going, I don't know what that means, but I'm just going to trust that I'm, that's doing what it should do. We try and give you that foundation before we get you fully, fully hands on. So there's a little bit of an intro, a little bit of foundation building, a little bit of teaching you the theory. We then get much more hands on. We talk about reading data, different file formats, whether we're reading from JSON, we're unpacking all that stuff, we're reading from CSVs or Delta or Parquet, giving you the skills you need. But also what happens when the data's wrong? How do we do schema inference? How do we do data validation? How do we reject, reject rows when they're not right? Talk through all of that good stuff inside that module. And then transforming, we've got two big old sections that we work through. So there's one which is more the basic transformations that we expect. So things like how do we do selection? How do we do filtering? How do we do aggregations, window functions, and all of the good analytical kind of stuff? And then what about the weirder stuff that Spark does that other things don't necessarily do? So talking about doing regex, talking about doing really complex joins, talking about how doing complex unpacking of JSON if we've got nested structures and we've got we need to pull out different groups of things inside an array. Lots of interesting things we go and do. Now, each of these things that we're teaching you a technical concept is going to be accompanied by a lab. So if we dive into aggregate functions, for example, you'll see there's the video itself going through the theory, the concepts, the code, and teaching you generally the, the actual uh, content. But then there's a lab, and I'll, I'll spend a little bit of time telling you what the lab's expecting, what the question is, what the challenge we're going to go and try and do is. You guys can then run off, do the lab, have a go at filling out the code, and then to test your knowledge at the end to see how well you did, every lab has a walkthrough that I've put together of me going through, this is how I solved that particular challenge. This is the various different ways we could have approached it. So every single di different bit of code, you've got both me explaining what we want you to do, and also me explaining how we achieved it so you can benchmark your approach against uh, how we actually went and did it. Once we've gone through all the transformations, we then talk about writing data and the different ways of taking a data frame and writing it back down to the disk, and how you control the number of files and partitioning and all those concepts, giving you the ability to then essentially say, well, read from any data source, transform it via a myriad ways and write it down, and then just do that over and over again. That's essentially how we build lakes and lake houses these days. Now, I've got to say, this is the fundamentals of Spark. Obviously, there's far more advanced concepts we can go into. There's loads, loads, loads more to actually get to grips with. But if you're looking to just learn Spark and try and understand what on earth it's talking about, this is a fairly, fairly in-depth, thorough course to get you up to speed. So, again, that is now live out in the world. You can go to the website. I'll drop a link down below, and you can just... Have a run through, purchase a course, enroll onto it, and then work through it in your own time. Now, why would you be doing this? As we said at the start, it's one of the fastest growing frameworks in terms of Spark itself. It's a massive career accelerator. So data engineering is just currently in an explosion. Data engineers are heavily, heavily in demand. And one of the big, big, big pieces of data engineering currently is Spark. So if you know Spark, you're looking for the next step in your career, well, Getting ahead of Spark and actually doing all that stuff is definitely one of the stepping stones to actually accelerating your career. If you're in a team and you're looking to adopt a lake house pattern, you're looking to move to the cloud and adopt cloud native analytics, well, Spark is one of the building blocks of how that works. If you look at a lot of the tools coming out in various different cloud vendors, so many of them these days are Spark based and you will not go wrong learning Spark to actually prepare for that. Or maybe you're full on into it. You're about to adopt a massive project, you're about to start the project and you're like, where do we even begin? Well, this will give you those tools to actually get started on your Spark journey. So once again, Spark fans is the discount code to give you 10% off signing up to any of those courses as a fan of the YouTube. And yeah, we're really excited. We're really proud of it. We think it's actually a very, very thorough in-depth course. And um, we're really, really keen to actually start getting feedback to hearing how people thought about it how it was versus other courses that you've done, what things you'd like to see in future courses, what we could add on to make it even better. Yeah, the, it is our first 
open attempt at doing a self-paced training course and we are really really keen to start hearing about how people get to grips with them and how it goes so yeah that's it as always don't forget to like and subscribe to the youtube itself and again youtube is going nowhere i will still be doing loads and loads of videos about all the new features and deeper techniques and deep dives into individual areas but if you want a hand-holded guide to get you really really up to speed with this new stuff then the training courses are for you and we'll be adding more and more over time so yeah have a go let us know what you think and we'll hope to see you there cheers <laughs>